Welcome to the Daily Vlog. Today, our most impossible task yet, how to play baseball in five minutes. How do you play baseball? Okay. Well, you don't play it in five minutes. It takes a lot longer than that. <laughs> but, so the, here's how you play. So basically, you have two teams, which has a minimum of nine players per team. But in professional baseball, usually it's 25 players. And uh, one team starts defensively, and the other team starts on offense. Defensively, you go and you put three people in the outfield. It's kind of a like a semi, uh, like a quarter of a circle style field. But three people in the outfield, the outer part of the field. In the infield, there's home plate, which is sort of at the nexus, the crux of the circle. And then there's first base, second base, and third base, forming a diamond. In the middle, there's a mound with a, a small thing called the pitcher's rubber. And, Pitcher stands on that. Then you have somebody positioned at first base, second base, third base, and you have somebody positioned between second and third called their shortstop. Mm -hmm. And you have somebody behind home plate to catch the ball that the pitcher is going to throw from the mound. That's nine total players in your defense. Okay. What happens is the pitcher basically throws the ball to the catcher. Standing next to the catcher is the batter who's got a baseball bat and he's trying to hit the ball. Who is the offensive team? Yes, who is the one member of the offensive team that is on the field at this point. Uh, he tries to hit the ball, pitcher tries to throw it past him. Um, basically, if a, a strike zone is the area where he could easily hit it, right about here, anyway, he could eat, where he can easily swing. If the ball goes through the strike zone, it's a strike if he doesn't swing. If he swings and misses it, whether it's in the strike zone or not, it's a strike. If the ball is outside the strike zone and the batter doesn't swing, it's a ball. If you get four balls, you walk and automatically go to first base, advance to a base. If you strike out, which is three strikes, you're out. There's three outs per inning, so you don't want to do that. Fouls? Uh, foul balls count as the first strike, second strike, but they do not count as a third strike. So you could uh, foul off as many balls as you want. You just Which have two strikes. You hit it, but it goes. Yes, outside. a foul ball means it's not. It's there's foul, foul lines going to first base, third base, and it's all the way out infinitely. The field. If it's outside the field, then it's a foul ball. You got to hit it in fair territory for it to count. Okay, so then you go to first base, and if you hit the ball and the ball's on the ground, and you could beat the throw to first base you get to go to first. Similarly, not exactly. You just have to you tag go to sec first. You can go to second, third. So you can have a, a single, a double, a triple, or home run is if you make it all the way home. More traditionally, a home run is if you actually hit the ball outside of the field, which is a hard thing to do. But if you can do that, then the defense has no plays. You can thousand. walk around the bases and go home. Once you have runners on base, like say somebody gets to first base, they advance on hits as well. So you have, uh, say, two singles in a row, typically, one runner will go to first base, the next single they will go to second, you will go to first. However, a fast runner may actually make it all the way to third. The ways you can get thrown out are you can be tagged when you're not touching a base, or... With the exception of first base, right? Well, if there's you a force, if there's first, a force, right? right, you only have to tag and you can run past first base. Only on the initial play if you don't go to yeah. round to go to second. You can also, if you are forced to go to a base because there's a runner behind you, or because you're simply running from uh, home to first, they could tag the base and it counts just as tagging you, only on a forced play like that. Um, and basically the pitcher throws and the batter tries to bat and they try to get runs all the way around the diamond, runners all the way around. If they touch on plate, it's one run and it counts as a point. You have three outs in an inning. Uh, once a third out is, no matter how many guys you have on base, it doesn't matter, they all come in, you take the field and the, everything switches. Mm -hmm. And then the opposing team and gets that's three an outs. Inning. That's, and two of those, one where you're playing defense, one where you're playing offense is an inning. When an inning is over, there are nine total innings. A typical game, if the home team is winning, will only go eight half innings because the home team bats second. So in the ninth inning, if the home team is winning, there's no need for them to bat because they can't they've get less won. runs they've already won. So a home team may win and only bat eight times, and a visiting team will always bat nine times. Um, if it's a tie game after nine, it goes to extra innings until one team is the decisive winner at the end of an inning. Um, and then there's lots of nuances to the game. You can steal, for instance, uh, there's nothing holding you to a bag. When the pitcher throws the ball, you can actually try to take second base from first base. Um, the batter doesn't have to hit it. However, you can be tagged out, so it's dangerous to do. Um, the uh, pitchers can throw a variety of pitches to try to trick the batter into swinging at the ball or not swinging when it's in fact a strike. Uh, you can't hit the batter. You hit the batter, it's the same as a walk. Um, you also can do something called a sacrifice, where if there's a runner on a base and you hit the ball up in the air, when it, somebody catches it up in the air, the runners can still advance to the next base, but they must tag the base that they were on. So, for instance, if you're at second base, catch the ball, you have to have your foot on the base at the moment of the catch, 
or at some point afterwards, and then you can run to third. Uh, that way you so can sacrifice somebody. You're allowed oh. to run while the ball is coming back. Well, yes, like, after so it's, it's been caught. If it's a ground ball, you can advance without having to wait for that. Oh, and that's, okay. In a nutshell, with baseball. Have to tag the base? Uh, yes. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.